So the theme of this album is keepsakes, which came to mind when I was writing. I had a lot of positive so songs and negative songs, and uh, all of them from a specific memory, which uh, in turn was a keepsake, whether it be positive or negative. It's something that when that item is in front of you, it brings back that memory, good or bad. I did all the artwork myself for this album. Um, the concept, which uh, I didn't come up with all on my own, it was the whole band, we all got together and talked about it. It's uh, a set of hands holding a keepsake item, like a locket. The locket's open. Um, the hands themselves, like the bodies, disappeared. All that's left are the hands. And the idea behind it is uh, the keepsake how a keepsake is something that like reminds you of the past, that keeps that memory alive, is the only thing that's keeping that part of that person around. Like it's the only thing that's holding them there. Um, where the locket is open, you can see inside that it's like a happy bright day shining out of it, and all around the hands it's just darkness. So the meaning behind that is uh, in a dark time you can look back at that keepsake item to remind you of brighter times to like lift your spirits. The theme and the meaning behind Keepsakes is really important to me because uh, the whole album was written at a point in my life when I was, I had just moved off to school. I was moving around all the time from apartment to apartment. Uh, I think I had like six, six places in four years. And when you're used to growing up in the same house for 18 years and then suddenly moving off, uh, it's hard to feel at home anywhere. And the only things that really made me feel at home were um, just the things that I kept with me. An example of those is like my fishing stuff. I grew up in the mountains. I like fishing uh, in uh, like wild trout streams and stuff. And anytime I see my fishing stuff, that reminds me of home. So that is the kind of thing that gets me through when I'm down. Personally, like a keepsake, I keep a lot of toys and things around. Like I collect stuff. So for me, like every single like toy that I have is not just a toy. Like I look at that and I think of people and places where I've been, um, just where I've come from, and like the path that's led me to be the person I am today. So the writing process for this album is was a lot different than what we've done in the past. Uh, for one, we have a completely different group of guys uh, in the band, and um, the songs that we're we've been recording for this album. We've been working on them for years now, uh, some of them up to like two years. So they're really well developed and we've really put a lot of time and effort into, into every part of these songs. So one song on the album I'm really proud of is The Truest Reflection, which I basically wrote about my parents, um, how they've always been there for me, supported me through everything. Um, it was basically a thank you for them for all that they've done. And it starts with them, but the more I wrote, it, it also can go towards any friends or family member that's helped me along the way. So for this album, we decided to go with uh, Andreas uh, at Planet Red Studios in Richmond. It's close to home, and we absolutely love Andreas. He's recorded some of our favorite records, um, and we just love the tone that he uh, brings out in bands. And we really wanted that, so well, we decided to go with him and I think that he really got the best out of the material that we brought him. So a negative song on this album is The Genie Should Stay in the Bottle, which is actually a line from the movie The Conjuring. And the way The Conjuring tied into Keepsakes was in the movie, the mother has this photo of the family that she always goes back to even when times are bad. And it brings her back to a simpler time when they were happy and weren't being tormented. So that is her keepsake and really I think sums up keepsakes as a whole is something that can pull you out of bad times um, back to when things were, were good and simpler. So this band and just playing music in general really helped me out. I used to be really shy and it kind of brought out a part of me that I didn't know I had. I really loved to perform in front of people and just travel to new places and meet new people. And this album to me is just another uh, stepping stone to be able to just go anywhere and play in front of anyone. I think that's a lot of people's dream, including mine, and I, I hope it all works out and I really would like to play in front of each one of you.